Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. How are you everyone? This video is about creating adaptive uh, tree column like this one. First you have to go to the main menu, new, family. Then look for metric generic model adaptive. Open. Okay. Now we have this, we have to, we will need uh, more than one reference plane. Let's go to the reference, reference level. This one, yes. And let's copy this one to the sides. Select two, only one. Okay. And we'll go to the 3D view and we'll copy this uh, horizontal plane twice. Okay. Then I will set this as my um, reference plane where I want to draw. And I'll go to the side view. And I'll start placing reference points. I'll place one here, one here, and one in the top, another one here, and one here. Okay. Now, uh, I will select all of these points, except this one, or let, let's select all of them, make them adaptive, and then make sure they are um, directly, like, after each other one two we want this to be three okay let's write three and this one is four and this one is five yes one by one okay now we want to draw to draw the trunk to model the trunk and the, the branches of this tree column first we need to set the plane let's zoom in a little bit not not that much so uh, okay now let's draw a circle make sure you select the reference and you set to this plane on the adaptive point and we will draw a circle here later we will change the dimensions but for now just ignore them okay I'll draw another one here Make sure you snap the point. Another circle. One more here. Another one here. Okay. And after I do this, I will add parameters for each of these circles uh, in order to to make them parametric so I can control the size later in my project okay now let's start with this point for example because we're already on the right plane we will select the diameter and click and we'll select of course this is small you can see it clearly we'll just select this one and add parameter make it instance and let's call it branch diameter okay and we'll do the same here for this point set then draw um, sorry put the diameter select this one and make it select the branch diameter the same thing here set select this one diameter okay escape then select it add parameter branch diameter then uh, for the trunk we will do the same also let's set this one to this plane add diameter but this is not the branch so we will select and add a new parameter, make it instance and call it trunk diameter for example 
Okay, we'll do the same for the last one. Set. Okay. Selected. Turn the diameter. And we're done for these parameters. We'll just zoom out a bit. The my uh, my scroll is not working. That's why. Okay. Um, first, let's uh, control these parameters. I'll make the uh, trunk diameter as six hundred millimeters and this one as. 300 and click OK and I'll zoom again a little bit select this reference hold the control select the other circle and create form I'll select this circle again hold the control select this circle create form the same thing for the other parts. Make sure you select the right thing. Okay, create form. Okay. Let's select these two. And create form. And we're done. The last thing we can do is select all the parts and add a material parameter for them uh, here click here add parameter call it material if you want to make a different material for the branches and the trunk you can do this but here I want the same material ok instance and we're done later in the project we can select the materi material that we like uh, one last thing we need to do let's select this point go to the properties and change it to shape handle point okay um, and for the rest let's zoom out I'll select all of the adaptive points let's select them first not this one except this one the central wall uh, go to okay this is placement point okay but here select vertical and family I tried all of them this one uh, is the one that worked for me and let's see how it works of course I'm making them um, adaptive so I can place them directly on the nodes of the uh, other model other that I have um, in the in the project I will show you now okay we're done that let's just load it in the project project one okay as you can see no I don't want to save as you can see before I place it I have I created this mass in place which has uh, division divisions and intersections and this will allow me to place the points directly on these intersections uh, but if you don't have uh, this mass you I will show you what you can do other option okay let's place this for now um, I'll I, I change the sun central adaptive point so I don't have to snap it to anywhere I'll just snap the, the branches and the order is important because um, you, know, you want to get a proper model not like a twisted uh, model or anything so let's snap and place our tree column and it's done as you can see let's hit tap it's placed and you can still control everything you can control this point as you can see it's shape handled so you can change and it's done okay let's see the other option if we have like different surface not with the uh, intersections we want to like move it manually we want to place it manually so let's go back to this model the family I mean this one okay I'll select all of the adaptive points 
and go to the properties here you have to make them all shape handle points okay and then load them in the project okay override go to the 3d view let's see how it work go to the architecture component and as you can see I just placed it once uh, it, it doesn't tell me to place the point uh, each point on the node because I don't have if I don't have nodes so uh, I can what I can do is control each point manually and place it where I want that's it for this video I hope you it was useful and you have learned something uh, thank you for watching and please don't uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments thank you so much